Welcome back to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T and in this video I'm going to be talking about Glorilla's very fast rise to mainstream success. I've noticed that for a new artist kind of like Sexy Red and Ice Spice, Glorilla has just again climbed the ranks of the music business very quickly and that of course leads me to believe that she's a plant but whether she's a plant or not she is surely a puppet. So in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the symbolism that surrounds her especially in her new music video that she released called what you know about me that's what really tipped me off to make this video so before i hop in please like share and subscribe let's talk in the comments and please turn on your notifications okay you guys so i am not a glorilla fan i don't really like her voice or her music but I came across a snippet of her What You Know About Me music video and I saw checkerboard floors and I noticed that she had on a pink wig and I was like, okay, symbolism. So I said to myself, okay, let me go, um, you know, just like cover this and let me go get some screenshots and kind of just see what else was up in this video. And I noticed, of course, she collaborated with Sexy Red and what I'm seeing here is more initiation now of course we know checkerboard floors is freemasonic symbolism and i noticed that she's wearing a pink wig and a pink wig is also like mk ultra symbolism just like the blonde wig is symbolic of mk ultra programming as well i have photos of um more celebrities she seen with pink and blonde wigs i think the blonde is kind of a little bit more detectable by now but the pink is also something that um you'll notice as like a reoccurring theme with celebrities when they level up to you know certain spots within the industry now sexy red is somebody who was definitely initiated i've made several videos about her um the whole red you know thing with her is definitely strategic because she is repping the red lodge and um, she's always throwing up the six and again we, we see we frequently see her in blonde hair and of course she pushes a very like degenerate um, you know really nasty image um, especially one pertaining to black women she's like always twerking in bonnets you know like sexy red is a plant that is sent to destroy any kind of good image that black women are working to maintain and again she's also somebody that has been um working to initiate suki hana and um i've just seen sexy red again pulling a lot of work you know drake has helped to initiate her so she has been working over the last like two years i know that um a lot of people don't like her because they know that she's a plant but again a lot of these people work for the government so just a word about sexy red now with glorilla back to her um glorilla has been going through again several cycles of initiation i noticed that sweetie is the one who initially brought her into the game remember like maybe was it about two years ago by now uh, Glorilla was seen out like partying with Sweetie and then next thing you know Glorilla is a mainstream artist and I'm going to show you a picture. Glorilla was dressed in a Balenciaga shirt and Sweetie had on a pink wig. See what I'm saying? It is levels to this. So Glorilla makes it onto the mainstream stage and then she gets signed to Yo Gotti. You know Young Dolph passes away, Gangsta Boo passes away and again Glorilla just continues to rise now Yogati is signed to Rock Nation and I keep telling you guys this industry is a pyramid scheme so you have to sign somebody and then they go sign somebody you know it's about collecting souls as Glorilla continues to rise she then got a collab with Megan Thee Stallion I'm sure through her affiliation with Rock Nation and so Megan Thee Stallion collabs with her they're both platinum blonde wigged out in the wannabe music video 
the wannabe music video was set in a frat house. And so again, fraternities, sororities, Greek god worship. I have some more photos of Glorilla pictured half naked in like a Greek or Egyptian style temple, which is showing again, she's rising up level, she's getting initiated. So just some things that I have noticed. Um, again, the sampled music by Boosie um, is trash. <laughs> but um, co the constant sampling of music, we see that with the new artist. Everything from, again, Saweetie, who's always sampling, to Glorilla, who's, again, just sampling through a bunch of stuff. That is a form of idol worship, and it's a way to keep people locked in um, nostalgia locked in a program like consistently like a time loop and it's also a way for labels to keep making money off of people who don't own their own masters so this is all again one big great pyramid scheme I just wanted to do a quick decode of some of the things I've noticed with Glorilla of course we've seen her do lots of symbolism and she's continuing to rise because I think her success is manufactured. Um, she's rising because she's doing her work. She's doing what the industry wants her to do. But I don't think that people are really buying her music like that. I know people like her Friday song. I know people like it. Her Yeah Glow, whatever it is. I don't know the name of the song. I don't really like her music. But I know that she does have an audience. I know that people are streaming some of her stuff, but I also just feel like her push is very manufactured, very inorganic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, let's talk. This is a commentary channel. You can agree or not agree. But other than that, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.